We're getting our smoke on in this episode of The Gear Guide. So if you guys have played Airsoft anytime this year or last year, especially at a big Milsim op or a large game outdoors, you probably know exactly what I'm holding in my hand. Now, if you haven't, let me fill you in. These are a Nola Gaze smoke grenade lineup for 2015. So Nola Gay actually has three different smoke grenades in their lineup early this year. They actually have a couple more in the works, but these are the three that are out right now. You have their wire pull grenade, which is their tried and true one, the first to the market, the one that is kind of the granddaddy of their lineup. You also have its younger brother, but don't let the size fool you, the burst grenade. And this one actually expels smoke twice as fast by sending it out on both ends, the top and the bottom. And then you got the big boy over here, the EG-18. This thing dumps a ton of smoke. It will cover a huge area and burn about twice as long as the wire pull and about two and a half to three times as long as the burst. And in all three versions, they come in seven different colors, depending on what kind of coverage you're looking for, if you want to use for marking, or if you have team designation. They come in the primary and the secondary colors, plus white. So you have red, yellow, and blue. You have orange, purple, and green, and then of course, white. And I found that the lighter colors, like your yellows and your whites, tend to do a good job creating this great haze over the battlefield if you need a large unit to move up, or you need to cover kind of a little bit bigger area, even with the smaller grenades, not just the EG-18. And if you want a really dense coverage like if you want to have good concealment where they can't see anything I found the darker colors like what I have here purples the blues and then the greens tend to do a better job covering a little bit smaller of an area but a denser coverage with that bright color to really conceal your movement up to use them, it's really simple, and then directions are actually right on the side of the grenade. You're just going to take the cap off the top of all three of these. They all work the same. You're actually going to grab the pin, and you're going to pull it directly out to the side, so it needs to go right at 90 degrees from the grenade. If you pull it straight up, you're actually going to pull the igniter out, and it's not going to ignite. That's the only time I've ever seen these things not ignite, when people don't read the instructions, and they pull it straight up under the heat of battle, and they make that mistake. But if you pull it out, it's going to ignite every single time. At least in my experience, I've probably thrown a good 40-plus of these in the past couple of games I've been at and every single one is ignited. So I can attest that these things are very well made. So once you pull the pin, you'll get ignition here in the top and then the smoke will start billowing. And they do designate the ends that have the smoke, you're gonna be really hot to the touch, with red, which I like that too. Kind of gives a little warning just to let you know after the smoke grenade's gone out, not to touch that area. The outsides are relatively cool. You can hold them in your hand, but it's not gonna burn you by holding these in your hands while they're igniting. Now on the burst, like I said, because it dumps the smoke twice as fast, it has two ports. One on the top where you pull the pin, one on the bottom too. So it blows smoke out both ends and dumps it really quick pumping out a ton of smoke. So guys, if you want to up your Milsim game, you really want to put some uh, tactical stuff in there, or even you just want to add some objectives, like you know blowing a building by pulling a smoke grenade, these things are fantastic. And they're all priced rather reasonable for a high quality smoke grenade. You're not going to pay those military grenade prices. You're looking at around six or seven dollars US, working your way up to about the mid-teens with the EG-18, depending on which smoke grenade you're looking at, and depending on where you pick them up. And you can get these anywhere Anola Gay products are sold. So guys, what do you think of smoke grenades in the battlefield. Do you think they're good? Obviously you need to use safe. These are 18 and up products. So remember if you're under uh, that, make sure you're following all the proper regulations and make sure they are legal to use in your area. Sometimes these are considered pyrotechnics in certain states or cities won't allow them. And it's not that they're legal in the US or other countries, just make sure they're legal in the area you're gonna deploy them in so you don't get yourself in trouble. But aside from that, what do you think of? Would you use these? Do you think the price is right to get that amazing coverage? I mean, I saw them so effectively used at Operation Copperhead and it broke home for entire platoons to move up. You throw about two or three of these big boys out there and you can move in a platoon size element up and we, I'll tell you right now, I got rolled by a platoon, myself and a whole platoon of guys, because they use these effectively and we didn't. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about them. Well guys, that's it for this episode of the Gear Guide. In the next episode, I'll be reviewing a vape grenade that blows steam everywhere.